Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing and testing the Shark Apex Liftaway Vacuum Cleaner. Before we unbox the vacuum, we're going to be looking over the box and its information. Skip to the timestamp in the corner if you want to see the unboxing first. This vacuum has a powerful pet hair pickup as well as long hair pickup. It has a duo clean system with two brush rolls. It comes with a variety of tools for specialized needs like cleaning a mess in a corner or on hardwood. It also has an extended reach in powered lift away mode. This mode will be demonstrated later. The vacuum has an advanced allergen seal so that you don't have to worry about sneezing it up during your regular cleaning session. It has several modes like an upright standard vacuum mode, an above floor mode which is useful for stairs, and powered lift away mode which can easily clean under low areas that your usual vacuum can't get to. The vacuum has bristle guards and combs which will separate the hair from the brush roll and bristle brush. This makes it a self-cleaning vacuum. The brush roll can pick up particulates while the bristle brush can deep clean carpets, thus making this vacuum an all-in-one floor cleaner. Now to the unboxing. On the side panels of the cardboard box, you will find a help number in case you have any doubts. On the next panel, you'll find a list of included items within the box, including accessories and main parts, and an easy to follow mini manual that will help you finish the assembly of the vacuum. We will go over the assembly of the vacuum in a different part of the video, but overall it is an easy to follow and build vacuum. First item from the box is the manual. This guide will explain most of what you need to know to operate the vacuum, but it didn't take long to learn how to use it without the manual. Next we are taking out the vacuum base containing the brush roll and bristle brush. Then we have the handle and the extending suction tube. The next item we have is the rod which connects to the base. This will hold the canister and handle during the assembly. Lastly, we are pulling out the canister which is where the dirt and dust will be stored. Now we are going to individually open each item and quickly look at them before advancing to the next segment of the video. That segment will contain an overview of all the details of each piece and show you how they work. Right now we are looking at the extension wand. This will house all of the pieces of the vacuum when in built form. Now we are going to be opening the base of the vacuum. This contains the wheels of the vacuum and the bristle brush slash brush roll. This part will attach to the extension wand. Now we are unboxing the handle and the suction tube. You can see here the switch labeled hose release. This will release the suction tube from the canister. We can see on the handle there is an on off button and a switch which will switch from light carpet mode, deep carpet mode, and hard floor mode. Now we have the canister. We will demonstrate how to empty it and how to open it later in the video. Now we are going to be unboxing the accessories package. This holds all the special attachment tools that you can use in case you have a mess which your regular vacuum base cannot clean by itself. First up we have a basic cleaning tool for stairs or any general upholstery area. This tool has a brush like texture on the edges for deeper cleaning. The next tool is great for getting into crevices or corners and can easily clean them without having to twist into awkward angles. 
Its length can make it great for getting to spots just a little too deep or a little too high, like in between couch cushions or up on bookshelves. Lastly, we have the pet hair brush, which is to be used on the hard floor vacuum setting. This brush is self-cleaning and is great for pet hair or long hair that the base cannot reach. It can also go into couches or upholstery to clean pet hair wherever it may be. Similar to the first tool, the bottom has a brush-like texture, but similar to the base, this one also has a bristle brush. Now we move on to the part overview. First, we will be looking at the details of the canister. At the top of the canister, we can see the dust cup release button, which will release the dust cup from the filter and base to allow for easy emptying. When you release the dust cup, you will find the filter. The filter is a HEPA filter, and it is a foam filter which is washable as well. Now we are going to be looking at the various parts of the dust cup. At the top of the dust cup, there is a button. When this button is pressed, it will open the lid of the dust cup for easy cleaning. You can easily press down the dust cup lid and it will snap shut. At the bottom of the dust cup, we can find another button. This button will open the bottom of the container and empty the contents when pressed. This is a simple and easy way to empty the dust cup without having to buy in vacuum bags or make contact with the dirt and dust. The grip of the dust cup is coated with rubber, giving you an extra grip. It is also textured. The rubber is also found on the bottom of the grip. The dust cup is easily placed back onto the canister with little force. It will snap together to let you know that they are attached. Next we have the handle. The on button is located at the top. When pressed and the vacuum is plugged in, it will turn blue to tell you that the vacuum is on. We then have the switch that will let you alternate between different modes with ease. At the top we have the thick carpet mode. In the middle is thin carpet mode or rug mode. And at the bottom is hard floor mode like tile or wood. At the back of the handle is the handle release button. If you press it down, you can pull off the handle from the built vacuum. All parts of the vacuum can be easily disassembled by these switches so that the vacuum can be stored or transported easily. Now we have the duo clicking floor nozzle. On each side of the floor nozzle, you can see switches. When you pull them, the cap of the floor nozzle will be open. Once you do this, the bristle brush and brush roll are easily visible and accessible. The bristle brush has sturdy bristles which do not come out easily. There are also rubber-like strips located on the bristle brush as well. The brush roll is made of a fuzzy and soft material, which will extract particles from any mess you clean. On the cap, you will locate the self-cleaning brush combs. The yellow comb cleans the bristle brush, while a separate built-in comb will clean the brush roll. That comb is located on the bottom. The cap can be easily put back on by simply pushing it down in the right place. On the other side of the base, we can see a soft fur-like strip made out of two layers. We can also see metal guards which are protecting the bristle brush. Finally, we can see the comb that cleans the brush roll of hair. Now we are looking at the extension wand. The wand has a wand release, 
which releases it from the floor nozzle or any attachments you might have attached to the end. At the end of the wand, we have a hook, which is where the wires will be spun around. At the bottom of the vacuum, there's a corresponding hook, and you can wrap the wires around both of them. Hopefully now that you understand the pieces well enough, we're going to be assembling the vacuum. First, we take the floor nozzle and set it down. Then we take the extension wand and attach it to the floor nozzle. Now we take the canister and simply slide it onto the wand. The manual should pinpoint where exactly. Now we are going to be attaching the handle and the extension hose to the vacuum. You can see now that the vacuum can swivel around the floor nozzle, adding many possibilities to the angles you can clean without having them move around too much. It is a little hard to control, but it is easy to get used to. Now we are on to the testing phase. First turn on the vacuum and you can see when you do, a light will automatically turn on at the base of the vacuum. This will allow you to see under tables or low areas. You can press the powered lift button on the canister, which will allow you to take the canister off the wand. The vacuum will still run, which then allows you to use the vacuum like a stick vacuum. As you can see here, the canister is detached, but you can still turn on the vacuum. Without having the canister on the wand, you can slide the wand under areas you can't reach, or to higher areas that are harder to get with the upright vacuum mode. Now we are going to attach an attachment to the vacuum. All three of them attach the same way, so all you need to do is slide it in like you would with the floor nozzle. You can also see a light on the handle, which will add more light to any low area that you need to see around during vacuuming. You can't detach the attachment without pressing the wand release button. If you press it, the attachment can be slid off. Now we are going to be testing the suction of the vacuum and the cleaning ability of the vacuum with some food. Overall, my review of this vacuum is great. Its ability and universal usage is very helpful around the house. For any mess, we have found this vacuum to be a great solution. Being able to remove the canister while still vacuuming is great for reaching under areas we couldn't reach before. The self-cleaning brush is handy because we find a lot of hair around the house, and not needing to scrape it off with the brush is a great help. The add-ons are also very helpful for specific messes we have. Overall, I recommend this vacuum with a high rating. As you can see here, the vacuum picked up all of the cereal, and now we're going to be demonstrating how to empty the dust can. Simply press the dust can release button and take it to your nearest garbage can. Press the button that opens the bottom and empty your contents into a trash can. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to show your support and grow our small, humble channel. Liking and sharing is optional, but I'm happy that you joined me today.